Well, you know, we're here in the wealthy part of the world, United States, Europe. We're well off and uh, parts of it we have plenty of rain and yet this can save money and use solar power rather than ruining the earth to grow plants. What could be better? But if you think about the poorest people in the world, people living in the latitudes of the 30s where it's increasingly hot, where drought exists, where people are on the move from refugee conditions, from poor farmers who are sending their kids off to uh, live in slums in the cities. Why would they stay on a farm? It's because they can't make enough money. Because typically you, uh, the world's poorest families grow one crop a year, that's it. But if they can grow cash crops, tomatoes or mangoes or other crops the rest of the year, you know what it takes? It takes movement of water. And many of these people are not on the grid. Well, how do you get power to operate a pump, to move water, to use drip irrigation, to uh, increase the incomes of people so people can uh, maybe even go to college someday or at least buy medicine for their parents? This is the way to do it. So part of the vision here is to lift the incomes of poor farming families all over the world, Africa. And uh, that's why we have operations in uh, Colombia, the country of Colombia, where indigenous people and other people who really uh, just scrape by now have an opportunity to double, triple, quadruple their income. One quick example is with the, the great University for the Poor of Colombia. It's called Seno. We're at their bio farm. And typically in Colombia, you'll grow one melon crop a year, given just normal rain conditions, no particular support. But with this, you can grow up to five melon crops a year. Now just think for a minute, five instead of one, five times whatever the income is from one. You can immediately see how the farm becomes a place you can become a middle income person. So that's part of our hope. We, had, we, 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 we perfected it here developed a prototype here and made sure it worked here where it's been invented. And what it really is, is the export of Western technology to places anywhere in the world that can really put it to use.